Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Vijay Lakshmi. Today we are going to discuss about search strategies in artificial intelligence and machine learning. Searching uh, search strategies includes uh, jargon like search, search page, start state and goal test. Searching is a step by step procedure to solve a search problem in a given search space. So a search problem can have three main factors. So one is search space search space represents a set of possible solutions which a system may have and uh, start state it is a state from where the agent begins the search and goal test it is a function which observes the current state and returns whether the goal state is achieved or not see guys this will be an important question for three to four marks that is what are the properties of search algorithm or measuring problem solving performance so here, uh, uh, any search algorithm generally depend on the problem domain T. So there are four factors to consider. One is completeness. That is, completeness is the algorithm guaranteed to find the solution when there is one. At least one solution should be there. So that is called as completeness. Optimality. Does the strategy find the optimal solution? Next is time complexity, how long does it take to find a solution and space complexity, how much a memory is needed to perform the search. So here any searching algorithm either it can be informed or uninformed uh, search strategies. So the performance is measured based on these four parameters. Okay, any search strategies is associated with these jargons. So coming for the state space versus search tree, state space is nothing but set of valid states for a problem and they are linked by operators for example if you see in the my previous video we have taken a, a graph to reach from one city to another city so we have 20 valid city states in romania travel problem so each uh, state is called as a city there and search tree is what search tree is nothing but root node is called as the initial state and child nodes are nothing but states that can be visited from the parent node are called as child nodes and note the depth of the tree can be infinite that is through repeated states and partial search tree portion of the tree that has to be expanded so far is called as partial search tree and next we have fringe fringe is nothing but it is the lease of partial search tree the candidate which is used for expansion that is called as the fringe leaf nodes of the tree is nothing but string we say and search trees is equal to data structures to search state space okay guys so searching here we follow two different methods to search for an optimal solution in order to make the uh, intelligent agents to learn so here uh, we have two types of searching techniques so one is called as uh, uninformed search and informed search Coming for uninformed search, this uninformed search is also called as exhaustive or brute force search and uses no information about the problem to guide the search and therefore may not be very efficient. It doesn't need any uh, 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 previous information to take the decision. Coming for informed search, it's also called as heuristic or intelligent search. It uses information about the problem to guide the search. Okay. It makes use of the information to guide the search, usually guesses the distance to a goal state and therefore efficient, but the search may not be always possible. So here, uh, this is about the informed search. Okay, guys. So we are going to discuss about two types of uninformed search strategies. One is called as breadth first search and next is the depth first search. So one simple strategy in breadth first search is the root node is expanded first. Then all the nodes generated by the root node are expanded next and then the successor and so on. So in general, all the nodes at depth D in search tree are expanded before the nodes at depth D plus 1. So that is about breadth first search. So it's an instance of the general graph search algorithm which the shallowest unexpanded node is chosen for expansion. So this is achieved by using a simple FIFO Q data structure for the frontier. Okay. Thus the new nodes go to the back of the queue 
okay and the old nodes which are shallower than the new nodes get expanded first this is very important to solving so always the old nodes okay which are shallower get expanded than the new nodes and new nodes are added at the end of the uh, fifo queue and there is one slight tweak on the general search algorithm which is that the goal test is applied to the each node when it is generated rather than when it is selected for expansion so we apply the goal test whenever we are uh, choosing a node for expansion we apply the goal test to identify whether it is the goal node and then only we try to if it is not a goal node then we try to expand that particular node so now this will try to understand that is breadth first search it returns a solution or a failure uh, here initially we have what if problem if it is the goal test we have to perform if it is not a goal node means then return the solution and to, uh, if it is not a goal node then uh, to the frontier you should add uh, the uh, node you have to expand that node and add to the FIFO queue okay so now we will see the example see this graph guys given here initially this is an example to understand the uh, breadth first search if it is empty frontier means then it returns what if the empty frontier means it returns failure okay and node equal to what pop frontier choose the shallowest node in frontier and add node to the explode node for each action in problem action node dot state do if it is a child child node pro means add the child node problem to the node action what action whether you want to perform the expansion or you want to add it into the queue just add it if child dot state is not expandable if it is not expanded or if it is frontier means then check whether it is the goal perform the goal test whether it is the goal child comma state if it is so if it is the goal means then return the solution that is the child either what you have to do if it is not the goal node means you have to insert it into the frontier so frontier equal to what insert child comma frontier so this will be looped so for each of the node this process continues now we'll try to understand with the help of algorithm see this graph we have taken here so initially frontier contains only one node corresponding to the source state so initially in the frontier okay in the queue we have in the FIFO queue we have only the root node here the root node is a okay we added the root node frontier step 2 is what a is removed from the fringe okay this is the queue so instead of uh, fifo queue we use the term here fringe so a is removed and its children b and c b and c are added into the frontier now here so a is removed and b and c are added into the frontier Now see here this highlighted color B and C in the frontier now what we have added. So this is the child nodes B and C is being added. Now which is the first one in the queue now here. So it is a first in first out. So here B is pushed first here in the queue. Who is there first in the queue now here. B is there in the queue then the C is there in the queue. So we have to expand this node B. Who are the children of B here now. It is D and F. D and F are the children. So add this to the queue. So they will come next to C. That is D and F will come in the queue here. So they come next to this. Okay guys. So here D and F. Now see in the fringe. See the sequence here. Node B is removed now here. So we are removing the node B and its children. C is already there. Okay C is already there. Next to C we added D and F. See the, our frontier will be like this now here. C D E. Okay. B is removed, its children are added, it is C, D, E now. Next, who is there in the queue now? First is C. So, now we have to expand C now because C is not our goal node. So, already what is there in the uh, fringe here now? First, we, we started with A. Now, we are expanding the node now here, C. Now, again, check C. C is a goal node. No, C is not our goal node. G only is our goal node here for this problem. So now next what we do we try to expand the C. Now who are the children of C here? D and G are the children of C. So now remove the C. Okay. Remove C from the node and add its children. They will come in the next. After D and D only they will come. 
So next, what you're going to add, you're going, you're removing C and you're adding its children D and G. So D and G comes here. So that we will see in the next page. See here we added, we removed the C, remove the node C, we removed the parent node and we added its children D and G. Okay. Now node D, now who is there in the keys? Node D is the goal node. No, G is our goal node. So here D is uh, removed from the Q. And who are the children of D now here? Children of D are B and F. Okay. So B and F here. So each children C and F are generated and added to the node. Sorry, uh, here D. These children are what? C and F. Okay. For this tree, you don't take this D now because we are going in breadth. Breadth means what? You have to see from uh, for each node from the starting node to the last child you have to observe. All the nodes you should start expanding. We started with A, we expanded B and C and next for B we have siblings D and E. We have to expand this node at this level. So for D the siblings are what? C and F. So add the children of uh, see here we have dg after dg only you should add c and f and what we have done we have removed d from the frontier okay you remove d next you are left out with what ed so next in the queue ed comes first okay ed and g edg and the children's of d is expanded and they are added into the queue now c and f now you see now e you have is e is a goal node no e is not a goal node okay and See here, E does not have, E is not, he is removed from the fringe because he doesn't have any children. So, it is removed from the fringe. Next, you are left out with what? D, G, C, F. Now, again, D is expanded. D is not a goal known. Okay. And who are the children of D now here? It is B and F. So, B and F are put into the open queue now here. So, B and F comes to the queue. So, you are having now B and F. So next, who got, whom you got in the sequence, you got now G. So if you observe here, next, we removed D now here. Next, we, we removed D now. So if you see the frontier, we removed D and we got now what? G. And if you see now here, is G is the gold node. Observe, yes, G is the gold node here. If you see the frontier, G is the gold node here. So, step 8, G is selected for expansion. Since it is found to be a goal node, you need not expand the goal node. Okay. So, it returns the path as what? So, from the starting tree, if you see, it is A, C and G. G is our goal node. So, this is the path. Okay, guys. So, here the algorithm, now what happens? It terminates. It follows the, following the parent pointers to the node corresponding to G because who is the parent of G? It is C. Who is the parent of C? It is A. So, this is the path it returns. So, this is how the breadth first search algorithm works. Okay. So, it is one of the simplest search strategies and it is complete. If there is a solution means it is guaranteed to find it and if there are multiple solutions then minimal solution we have to identify and the algorithm is optimal. Otherwise, breadth first search finds a solution with the shortest path length. Now, what is the time complexity? It is O B, B raised to D and space complexity you have to write that is O into B raised to D and whether it is optimal, yes, B that is branching factor, B means branching factor, D means depth of shallowest, shallowestness of the gold node and maximum length of any path in any path in search space. So here, I uh, hope you have understood this, how this DFS works it, uh, at each level for all the nodes, it will check whether it is the gold node or not, then only it will go to the next level. So this is a very important question for the external examination point of view. You have to take a graph like this and you have to expand and you have to explain that algorithm. Hope you have understood. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. Thank you.